Hey, what's up, y'all? Listen, when the catfish ended up being the person all this time, that's whack. That's whack because we going through all this just to be the person. Like, it just don't make any sense. We don't just be straightforward and come out with it. We don't have to have, we don't waste the episode. I don't want to see this type of catfish disease. I want to see the catfish that's crazy, outrageous, make me want to laugh, make me want to like, oh my gosh. Not the real person that's actually seen all the time. And this, the reason why you don't want to meet is comes from minimum bull crap. And also, people need to stop being desperate housewives. This desperation is not cute. Doing all this extra stuff for no, for no apparent reason when you haven't really talked on the phone or met the person, it's ridiculous. But we will get to it. Check it. Hey, what's up? You're watching Mizzle. You're watching my channel, Mizzle 14. And I'm back doing the review of MTV Catfish, Season 8, Episode 87, Moses and Crystal. Like I said, it just, uh, I don't know. Lately, this episode, the late last few episodes of Catfish has not been entertaining at all. It's just not. I'm doing it because I do enjoy the show, but at the same time, they just step it up. To the point that I might just do lives and just not do pre-recorded, but it is what it is, y'all. I'm here. This uh, y'all know, y'all love my reviews, and I'm here to give it to you. So here we go. Moses is 40 years old. He's a theater student and also a football player. And yes, he started school late in life because he was doing sales for 18 years. He wasn't really enjoying it as much. He just wanted to fulfill some of the stuff that he always had wanted to do. But he also wanted to find someone who do the things that he liked to do. Like mostly anime, cartoon, do things, a lot of things that may be interesting in him. And he wants to have a partner with that. He has been married for like 11 years, but he just got divorced for like a year and a half ago. So he trying to find someone to really fill the void, basically. Because I was like, damn, 11 years, you could at least take your time. No rush into another relationship. But just me, the Moses seemed like he really wants to be tied down already. And I said, What's, what is the rush? You will get married again. You want so I, I think it's more because he he don't he don't feel alone. It doesn't say you don't want to be alone. You want someone. You want the relationship. You want somebody to feel good and feel needed for a long time and all that stuff. Because what he was saying that he he wanted a divorce. He wanted to really work it out with the first person, so wife. So I seems to me he feel like he's more into the relationship type person and not feel to be in a single and alone. So he needs to have someone, and that's what I'm getting. He needs to have someone. So because I feel like a little bit more time after 11 years of marriage and he just got divorced and a half ago, could be, could not, it's not going to hurt. But some people got their own timeline. Some of those people just love to rush and they love to be in relationships. That's all they like. So he had been online dating. was all on black um, online dating app. And he met this girl at Crystal. They've been talking for four months. And he said, like, during the time he got divorced, he has been online dating for eight months. So the four out of the eight months, he's been talking to the lady named Crystal. Crystal is 32 years old. She also lives in California because he lives in California. She also lives in California. Not too far from each other, which I was, that's another thing. Like, y'all so close to each other and y'all still have a meet. Like, what's going on? That's that. All we know that she's an artist. He said she had Instagram. It was like only a few pictures on Instagram. He sees some pictures and he said the reason why he was enjoying her and like her because she was like the black goth type of person. And he probably was into this type of things that she might be interested in and he might feel like this was, could be a good match for him. They haven't talked on the phone because when the owner said it done when they was reading all this stuff, Cameron think that might be the ex. Because it's like maybe she's trying to get this rude thing back again and she just catfishing you. But he said, we got to find out. Because if he had talked on the phone, then that would probably dispel that theory. So we're going to find out. No, he haven't talked on the phone with her. He never really FaceTimed because he said the phone is always acting up. It's always technical difficulties. I said, this is 2023. Ain't no technical difficulties in phones unless he didn't pay no bill. 
It's many ways you can FaceTime. A lot of social apps have FaceTime. You don't have to give out the numbers. A lot of them have FaceTime features. You say you want to start talking on WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp has a FaceTime feature. So it's like, what's going on? Why are you not meeting? Why are you not FaceTime? But that's not it. Now, I would say earlier in this video that desperation is at its finest. I hate, I can't really like people who, who want to become desperate housewives. That's why I call people who really desperate to be with someone. I call them desperate housewives because that's one of my favorite all time shows that I like to watch, desperate housewives. And I always call people who are so extremely desperate, like any man or woman, whoever desperate for a relationship, desperate mm -hmm. housewives. And he was sending the money. Selling her money. He said, how many months you be selling her? Like $300, $400. He was selling her Ubers, trips. He was uh, paying for rooms. I said, you doing all this? Paying for rooms, Uber trips? Even one time he went to the figure Uber place. Not the Uber place. The hotel. One of the motels, hotels she was going to. He had the key. Because he said, listen, I'm paying for this room. I didn't know where you go. I could go over there and meet you, right? I paid for the room, so I know you here. He go over there, got the key and everything. He couldn't get in. Didn't even want to meet you. I said, what is going on? Why is she? Like, you pay for hell to know. That's what I said. If you pay for the Uber ride, you know where she going. So, and also, why you don't pay the Uber ride to have her come to you? Which I don't understand. Like, all these Uber rides and none of the Uber rides are coming to you so you can see her. That's, like, ridiculous. So, it was like, yes, can't talk on the phone because technical difficulties and all that. Yada, yada, yada. So I was like, oh, okay. But also, all uh, those excuses for meeting up. Gotta babysit. Gotta do this. Gotta do that. You gotta. I was like, classic catfish behavior. The excuses. Don't wanna FaceTime. Don't wanna meet. I was like, okay, whatever. So the investigation, they go to the photo, it was it's a hit. But it was tied to like a photographer of a shop, but not, no information about that person. So they then did an Instagram, not really much because there was only a few posts. It was some artist's work, but it wasn't that much. And then their phone number, and the phone number came into the person named James, 26, from in California. So that was like, it could be a man because you say you never talked on the phone, so it could be a possible man. And I said, ooh, child. So they talked to Moses, brought him up to speed, and even after the investigation, they come to find out it could not be possible to X. So they ruled that out. And then because even though he said that no, it could be possible to X, like she don't care about me anymore. Like she done. Because she the one who filed a divorce. She done. So we won't even communicate like that. Right? Now, with the phone conversation, he said at first it didn't bother him about the phone, not talking on the phone, because he wasn't a phone. He not you know, talking on the phone type of person himself at first. But after a while, when she kept duck, ducking and dodging and not want to meet and not want to talk and stuff like that, then he was like, oh, my God, now it's getting ridiculous. Like, what, what's going on? Because they played uh, features together. They love each other. They lost it like that. I said, oh, okay, what's with the conversations that y'all be having? I mean, well, when you do talk to someone on a daily basis and you start getting to know them and you get things, yes, you start building feelings. But at the same time, you still got to have extra caution, especially if you have a FaceTime person. Now, I want to understand you giving an Uber or money or something like that. If you have FaceTime, you met the person and everything. And then you say, okay, I know who the person is. But all that, and you was giving all this money and stuff. And I said, this, you doing too much. And then kind of find out it was just to giving her money. It was getting her hotel rooms, doing Uber rides. I said, boy, you, wow. And not one of the rides coming to your house. So what she's doing to the different hotel room? So now they're thinking that she might be a sex worker. Because I would say, yeah, why is she bouncing the hotels or hotels? <laughs> What's going on here? And why does she need you to pay for her things? And she never denied it. I said, yes, the person who's get, receiving the money all the time for the one person who's giving it, they're not going to say nothing about that. They're going to keep going. And they ain't going to stop bothering you until you, you stop giving money. So I guess at that point, she hit him up and they was having a conversation before he met up with investigation with uh met up with the leave with Cammy. And she was saying something about more money, or she having troubles, difficulty with money. He said, Oh, marry me and I can take care of you. They so was at marriage. What? 
He said, yeah. I'm not saying I'm gonna do it right away and everything, but I just I was I need that person in my life that I'm gonna focus on and live my life the rest of my life. Yes, he was the he's the desperate housewife. He needs the person, he needs, he wants someone. So he would say, yes, he be focused on marriage because this is what he wants and he wants the love and everything, and even though it's a, he got divorced, he just needs to be someone. And I said, all right. They say, you know what? At this point, we have to just we got to just call her or text her because we got no other leads. You've been trying. You've been trying every avenue, especially going to the place, finding out, couldn't get in, couldn't want to talk to you, all that stuff. Yes, he's been doing it a lot. So they said they had to help him. So they text, they call, it went straight to voicemail. They text, the person read the text. And then they call, and then the call was like a, something like a guy. <laughs> You couldn't really hear nothing. They hang up. So I said, ooh. So Moses said, yes, I don't got time to play with this person, especially the way I just heard. And I said, I know that's why. Because <laughs> he didn't want to think of no man. So, so after that, me and Cammie told Moses, that we're going to sleep on it twice a day. If we got anything news, you let us know or we let you know. And we're going to resume the next day. He said, cool. We got a message. He said, oh, we will meet you today. Come, you could come today. Just come today. I said, we? Who is we? I said, oh, child. If she was a sex worker, alleged sex worker, that would be a pimp. It was her out here for a pimp. So like that. So they got to the location. She sent a location and was got there. Lee was going to allow us, you know, leave all in the thing. And then he said, oh, I see some pictures. I see some pictures. This is a pose. And the door was answered. Lo and behold, it was actual Crystal. My little thumbnail will show who Moses is and what Crystal looks like so you can see who the person is. And it was actually the person. It was in the pictures, Crystal. She had the shades on. She had this, the dots out. And I ain't going to really hold y'all into it. The reason why she wasn't meeting me him is because she didn't feel phenomenal woman is enough enough. It's a strut on my back, the color of my shirt, the color of my pants, and the way the way I walk, the way I talk, the way I look. A phenomenal woman, phenomenally. <laughs> That's not all the words. I'm negative. I'm ad lib. I just came up with something in my head. But yeah, she she was a she didn't feel like she was a phenomenal woman for enough for him, and she didn't deserve. She wanted to earn him. And not just get anything, just not to be given. So she want to earn. She want to be a woman enough. Like she want to be take. Uh, she want to have to be working. Maybe take care of herself. Be there for a man or something like that. Because she said she would take care of grandma and mom and stuff like that. And they show her how to be a woman and stuff. But she didn't deserve it enough because the phone is a fritz. She didn't have that. She couldn't afford to pay the bill. So she didn't feel like a woman enough. That was like that was a, like a bogus excuse. But that's what she felt. And then she also, she was afraid of coming to some of the information. It's like, listen, he said to you money, and why you didn't want to meet? Because she said, also, I'm a massage therapist with some clients that go to these places. I said, massage therapist that go to these hotel rooms. This is massage therapist. Oh, okay. All right, you could have had an establishment that do massages that could go there. He could just, okay. He just need a certificate and work at that place. That's what but that's that. But she said she do like the guy and everything, but it just something like, oh no, how was this? And it's like her explanations are all places like good because you wasn't woman enough. And yes, I didn't want to mislead him and about his reveal, but sometimes this, oh I know. And it's just that it just it was very eccentric how she was acting the movie. So I would say I want my know she needed to be more forthcoming. If you would have told me the truth, like this. I'm getting overwhelmed because I'm going to my clients that's in the hotel and I'm giving them massages because I'm a massage therapist who work on who got pain in their backs and everything, a deep tissue. That's what it was. Instead of him paying for things, he's going in there, you want to see him and thinking that you kind of dark, not going to dodge him and everything. That was that. They talk. He just want to get clarification. She said, yes, maybe she was, maybe she should have been more forthcoming. And for what was for information and not kind of mislead him. 
He seemed like he's got the answer. They cool. They kiss. And then two months later, they together. Like right after they start wrap the filming, they hang out a few hours later. And it's it be inseparable ever since. So I said, where is she living? Is she living with you or something like that, Moses? Because it seemed like she was hopping from house to house. Like, like if she was a homosexual, she was trying to find a place to stay. But I said, hey, more power to y'all. Y'all like each other. Y'all cool. It's good. No more trying to lie. Because she did say when she was on the daily app, it wasn't so much a finding someone. It was more of like an inspiration of different faces and stuff. That's the stuff, artists that she draws. Inspiration for her artistry. But other than that, more power to y'all. Like I said, it's cute and all, but at the end of the day, the episode wasn't all that for me. So y'all tell me how y'all feel about this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Tell me uh, what your thoughts of this episode. Do you enjoy it? Do you not enjoy it? Did it entertain you or what? At the end of the day, it's cute forever, but I was like, girl, that was not a reason for you should not meet him. But whatever. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, tell me how y'all feel, and I'll talk to y'all later.